Hello everyone. The Lord be with you. And also with you. I started to feel a little poorly on Monday afternoon and I cancelled everything for Tuesday and began to evaluate all my symptoms in terms of COVID. It turned out to be nothing more than a head cold, but I hope my still slightly croaky voice won't get in the way of this prayer time. If we ever had any doubt that God is still in charge and working in the world during these difficult times, then Psalm 93 should allay them. It's a beautiful psalm. And since we live so close to the sea, it should resonate, especially with us. So here is Psalm 93. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and is armed with strength. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. Your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. The seas have lifted up, O Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves, mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea. The Lord on high is mighty. Your statutes stand firm. Holiness adorns your house for endless days, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. What glorious words, reminding us that God is almighty, invincible, and eternal. The Gospel reading is one that I already remember reflecting on. Doesn't seem so long ago, but it probably was. Jesus has been teaching about the end of the world as we know it and about his second coming. And he tells this short parable in illustration of what he has been saying. So listen to the good news pro proclaimed in Luke's Gospel, chapter 21, reading verses 29 to 33. Glory to Christ our Saviour. Jesus told them this parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. <coughs> When they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves, and you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. I tell you the truth. This generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. In this parable, Jesus is asking us to notice the signs of the times, the hope that we have when we see the sprouting of new leaves. We can't imagine this universe passing away. It's eons old. But when Jesus comes again, he will usher in the new kingdom, the kingdom of God in all its glory. Just go back to that psalm for a moment. You are from all eternity. And here Jesus is saying, my words will never pass away. The truth will never pass away and never change. God is eternal and unchanging. And that thought should sustain us when things around us are going perhaps a little bit pear-shaped. Life is not running smoothly. The kingdom of God is near. How does that make you feel? Can you see signs of hope in your own life? There is always the possibility of new shoots growing in our lives. Take time to look around you. See the signs of hope in the world and signs of hope in your own life. Today, 
I thought I would love to hear that very special lockdown version of God is our rock and refuge. Because that is what our eternal God is. Let us pray. Almighty God, in the middle of all sorts of natural, economic and other disasters, your word offers us truth and a strong place to stand. You will never pass away. Your word will never pass away. You are eternally faithful and loving and your promises will always remain true. Thank you, Lord, that we can always rely on you, that we can turn to you in times of trouble and you will always be there. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray for our country. Lord, grant us a vision for our land, a land of justice where none shall prey on others, a land of plenty where poverty shall cease to fester, a land of work where all can be employed, a land of openness where all are accepted as equal, a land of healing where hatred and racial prejudice exist no more, a land of peace which is free of violence and bring this vision to fruition for jesus christ's sake amen let us pray the lord's prayer our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven forgive us our sorry give us our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. God bless Africa, guide our leaders, guard our children and give us peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you, all whom you love and for whom you pray, now and always. Amen. And so. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Lots of love to you all. And uh, if any of you aren't feeling as well as you should, I hope you get better soon. Goodbye.